Welcome back everyone. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to download NDVI, NDSI, NDWI and Moisture Index from Copernicus Data Space Ecosystem. Open your browser and just type in Copernicus Data Space Ecosystem and hit the button search. You can see the first link, Copernicus Data Space Ecosystem. So I'll be giving this a link in the description. You can just check it out. So this is the home page. You can see the option over here explore data now select copernicus browser a separate tab will be open so we are being requested to login hit the button login so if you don't know how to login or how to create an account it's very simple i have already made a video on it how to create an account as well as how to download sentinel 2 imagery i'll be giving this uh, video in the description as well as i'll be putting it in the cards you can just check it out now uh, Provide your email address and password and hit the button login. So this is how the home page looks like. Now go to the select the option search and here go to place. I am going to type in the location which I am interested in. Kollam India. You can see here Kollam. So it won't be uh, giving the exact location. For example, if you search Kollam, it won't uh, go on. Uh, uh, stand or uh, mark this is column we need to just uh, zoom in to the particular location after that you can see the option over here create an area of interest in order to select the region you can also uh, upload files by clicking this uh, arrow button you can see the supported files kml kmz uh, gpx wkt geojson file formats so i am going to close it instead of that i am going to draw a rectangular area so I am using just uh, I have just uh, used one left click and after that you can see a box can be drawn like this when you want to finish it once again use the left click to finish so we have drawn the box successfully now you can see so various sentinel products are there I am going to select sentinel 2 product and I am going to specify the cloud coverage as 5% so I have selected 5% now uh, you can select a time range so here I am going to uh, January 2023 to 22nd November 2023 you can uh, specify the time also and finally hit the button search within few seconds you will be getting the results so you can see here we have got the data sets so I think this image looks uh, better so let, let me keep, click on this uh, I button and check it in the product you can see the cloud coverage it is a 0.78 so this data is okay for me now you can see the option visualize select the option visualize so if you want uh, you can see here the image is being taken 2023 3 14 So let me use scroll button to zoom out. You can see this is how the image looks like. This is the natural color of this image. And you can see in the Kodi code. Let me see. Uh, yeah. Now you can see the option over here. False color composite. You can choose uh, accordingly. You can see. Once you click on this uh, options layers, based on your uh, selection, the output will be changing. NDVI, so this is the NDVI layer. Likewise, you can select the moisture moisture index. And for every uh, layers, if you click on this down arrow, you can see the legend also. You can see the legend over here what this color indicates what might be the values appropriately 
for uh, yeah, moisture index, it has been given NDVI. It's also there. You can see NDVI. So likewise, you can see a lot of uh, indices have been there. NDSI, NDWI. You can also customize it. So let me show you how to download those images. You can see the option over here, download image. Select the option download image. And this is the basic uh, option. You can see so captions, the exported image will include a data source, a date, zoom layer and uh, branding. If you want, you can choose it. Show legends, if you want to enable it, you can enable show legends. Crop to AOI, that is nothing but we have uh, drawn a uh, rectangular for a column. If you want it, you can just crop it for that area alone. You can download like this. You can add some description, for example, downloads. And you can see here JPEG file format and PNG file formats are available. You can download those images, but it won't be having any georeferencing. Uh, let me download this image, uh, show you how it looks like. So you can just uh, go to the uh, interest, uh, interested uh, folder. So let me click on this option D. So save it to a location. So we have saved the file. Let me open the file and show you how it looks like. So you can see here, this is how the image looks like. Downloader Copernicus, you can see the information about this image. Let me close this. Likewise, you can download. Let me close it. Likewise, you can download for any, for our moisture also, you can download. Let me show you that. Moisture. Download. Show legends, crop, draw AOI geometry on image. No, I don't want that. And hit the button download. Save it. And let us view the image. You can see how it looks like. So now, in order to geo, download it in a geo reference format, once again go to the option downloads and you can see the option analytics here. You can select TIFF. So I'm going to be select 32 bit followed and the resolution will be high. You can choose the coordinate system. So if you want UTM, you can select UTM. So in this case, I'm going to use UTM. You can see the projected resolution of those raster 9 meters. And if you want, you can download uh, individual images. For example, if you just need moisture index, you can alone download it by selecting the tick option. Otherwise, you can select it as a group also like this. Let me download scene classification. It uh, looks like somewhat uh, land use land cover. Now let me hit the button download. So this might be taking uh, a one or two minutes for processing. Uh, this is a cropped image. So the time taken for it might be lesser compared to the if you are downloading the entire uh, image, it may take some time. So let us wait. So you can see here, browser images. Let me save uh, save those images. Once the after processing, it will be uh, directly starting to download, or it it will be asking where to save the file. So we have downloaded the file. Let me show you in the folder. Let me extract this file over here. 
So you can see here we have extracted the file successfully. Now let me open it in the RGS. So I have opened the RGS. Now let me browse the image. Add data. So now you can see here. Uh, false color. The, Im the image which you have downloaded is in geo for geotiff format. So let me add this image first and let us see how it looks like. So you can see here this is the false color composite image. If you want to download it in a much higher resolution, uh, yeah. You can see here high or uh, let me choose custom if you want to have it in uh, much more. Okay. Yeah, you can go up to let me check here. Five. Six. I can I think we can go up to the resolution of six by six meters. Uh, that will be much clearer image for if you want to visualize it much much more clearer So this is the false color composite and you can see here. This is the false color urban So you can find out the buildings by using this uh, combination It is a highlighted optimal natural color this image This is the moisture index You can see the NDSI image for differentiating a water body from land. And finally, NDVI. So, some more images also we have downloaded. Let me show you that also. NDWI, then scene classification, and true color, and SWIR. Let me open this file. Let us see how it looks like. Yeah, so this is the, yeah, let me go to the top. So here you can see NDWI output. This is the NDWI, NDWI output. And this is scene classification where you can classify which is urban area, non-urban area, water bodies. Likewise, you can classify shadows, shadow regions. You can see here, let me close this. In scene classification, you can find some images, some information of these images. Topographic cast, cloud shadow, water, unclassified region, likewise. Uh, this is the Sentinel true color. You can just have a look at it. And Sentinel SWIR, likewise you can download. If you want to download a very high resolution, for presentation, uh, if you want to do some presentation, you can you need to show up, uh, show some images. Once again, click on this uh, download option. Here you can see the option high resolution print. If you want to select a, a legend, also you can give the description. So here I am going to select moisture and uh, false color composite high resolution uh, let us add some description presentation so the image format if you want to select it in jpeg let's select jpeg the image uh, width you can increase the width dpa for uh, example let me add a dpa of 500 and hit the button download let us see how the image looks like and error fetching this file some okay so let me hit uh, 350 yeah 350 it is processing so once it has processed it is asking me where to save the file for you it might be directly downloading
so I have saved the file let us see how it looks like so this is the high resolution image this is for scene classification you can see the resolution so let me also show you the uh, some other uh, images like uh, mm, yeah natural color so for me only the scene classification has been downloaded because I have only selected the scene classification that is why it has been selected the downloaded let me select highlighted optimal natu natural color and once again go to the option download same thing high resolution 350 ppt download let me save it and open the image So this is of a good resolution. So likewise you can download. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.